Hey guys, welcome back to the Cypress series. In last video, we learned about locators in Cypress, how we can find customized CSS. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to tell you about Cypress DOM commands. So there are several DOM commands which are provided by Cypress and which are helpful to perform any action on the page. I have already created a sample template for the test case. So I have used describe inside which I have written my test suite name and then I have used the aid block. So I have already explained this in my previous video. If you have not watched, so I have explained all the mocha hooks, how we can write uh, efficient test case in Cypress. So if you're not watched, I would suggest you didn't watch that video before checking this one because uh, you need to understand how to create test case in Cypress, right? Inside that block, we write all of our actions. So whatever commands we want to perform, we have to mention over here. Fine. So I've used cy.visit to open the application. In Cypress, if you want to select any element and if you want to perform any action on that, so we use command cy.get. So in last video, we learned about CSS. So whenever you find any CSS, when you find any locator, you have to use cy.get and inside that, the locator value. Fine. So today uh, we are going to learn about different DOM commands. So I'll take you to this website. So this is an open card website by Navin Automation Labs. So this is uh, an e-commerce website. It will be easier for us to understand with the real time examples because using this, we can actually automate the whole user journey, right? So uh, for example, so we'll see, uh, let's say we want to click on MacBook and we have four products present on the page. So if I inspect this one, so if I inspect this one and we see we have a div classes image. So if I select this image using dot, so I can see there are four selections on the page, right? So in those cases where you have similar locator and you have various products on the page, various selections, so if you want to select the first selection, first element, so for that you have to use dot first command. So in Cypress, we have an inbuilt command, which is dot first. So using that, you can actually click on your first DOM element, right? So let me go back to the Cypress code. I will copy my CSS, which is dot image. And inside dot get, I will write my CSS, right? And then using dot first, you can actually select your first DOM element. Fine. So if you want to click on the first DOM element, you have to use command dot click. So using dot click, you can actually click on the first element. So what we'll do, I will run my test case. So let me open terminal. So using the command npx cypress open, you can open cypress. Now just select end to end testing and uh, I'll choose Chrome browser. So this is my uh, test file, which is element.cy.js and click on this. So you see it actually clicked on MacBook. So we have over here on the left side, if you see get dot image, it is actually showing four matched elements. So we have four elements which have the same class name. And out of that, we know we have to click on the first one. So I used dot first method. Right. So in Cypress, this is actually very helpful because in Cypress, we can see the snapshot of each and every action. So if you see, if I hover on get image, it is actually showing me four matched elements. And if I click on first one, so it is showing me on the right side, the highlighted element, right? So this is very helpful when you have to debug or when you have to, when you create your test scripts in Cypress. So instead of going back, if you have to verify, if you have to debug, where your test case is failing, where it is getting clicked. So in those cases, it, it will be very helpful with this feature of Cypress, right? The next one is, let's say on the page, if I want to click on Canon. So Canon is actually, over here we have four matched elements and Canon is my last one, right? So in Cypress, if you have to click on the last element, last match DOM element, so we use the command dot last. So let me go back to the code and uh, we will see uh, for the dot last how, how it works. Right. So I will just comment this one and we'll write 
my code for clicking on the last element so instead of first i will write dot last so what it will do it will actually click on the last dom element from the matching elements fine so let's uh, rerun our test case and see so i will rerun my test case from here just click on this arrow and it will rerun your test case so now you see it is actually clicking on the last element which is canon and uh, on the left side we can again see we got the fourth match product and it clicked on the last one so on the right side you can see the canon got highlighted which is actually your last element on the page right so this is very helpful uh, you can create your customized css also where you can find the last element but in cypress they have made it very clear it's uh, we have various dom commands which are very easy to use and you can use those dom commands to actually perform actions on the page so what if you want to select the second or third element right we saw for first and last but if you want to select any other index for that we have to use dot eq method by cypress so inside that we have to provide the index so let's say if we want to click on iphone so the index would be 1 so it starts with 0 so 0 would be my macbook first would be iphone second would be apple cinema 30 and fourth would be canon right so let's say you want to select on app for iphone so it will be dot eq1 and if you want to select apple cinema it will be eq2 so now i'll show you for iphone let's see for iphone how it works so let me go back over here so instead of last what we will do let me let me write a new command so over here i will write a new command right and i will comment it so in mocha you can comment like this double uh, forward slash right So instead of last, I will write dot eq, and I want to click on iPhone. So iPhone is actually second position. So second position means my index is one. So it, the indexing starts from zero and zero one. So it's like position minus one. You can say right. So for iPhone, I've used equal one. Let me go back and rerun the test case. So let's see if it clicks on iPhone or not. So you saw. Uh, it actually clicks on the second element and uh, it's amazing because we don't have to write long css for this so we can directly use this commands uh, dom commands and perform our action fine so first last and equal we saw it is uh, very easy because you will be using all this in your in your cypress uh, project we we have such kind of scenarios where we have multiple uh, multiple selectors with the same class name or id and in that case we can use this dot first or dot last or dot equal for performing our action right so the next one is dot contain so let me go back to the website and tell you so for example uh, for this macbook so if i select macbook i can see we have a text is macbook so in order to click on any text let's say we have any link text or uh, text present on the page and if we want to select that text so in cypress we have a command which is dot contains so using dot contains you just have to enter the text name and perform any action so for example i want to click on macbook so i'll take you back to my test case right over here so if i so i will use cy dot contains and inside that just enter your text right and let's say i want to perform click on this so i'll be using dot click let me comment the last one so cy dot contains actually checks for the text whichever is mentioned inside that and it actually then it perform the actions whatever you have mentioned right so let's uh, go back to the test case and rerun it so i will rerun my test case now it should actually click on the macbook so we saw over there this is uh, clicking on the macbook that means it is actually searching for text as macbook so you see on the on the right side also this is getting highlighted so we can see uh, directly what is uh, what is our command is what our command is doing actually so this is showing with a highlighted text and then it is clicking on this one right so this is a case when you have the text available on the page right next scenario is if we want to uh, search for an element which is present inside other element so by this I'm So if you want to select for alt macbook so this is under tag anchor tag and which is under div right 
so if we have this kind of hierarchy what we can do in cypress so first of all you will find you will use this div as a html tag you will try to find this search for this tag which is using cy.get and then you will use the command dot find so inside dot find you can find the hierarchy let's say we have anchor tag and inside that we have image and alt macbook right so let me copy this one let me copy the alt macbook and i will show you what i mean uh, let us go back to our cypress code so next one is so cy dot get so first of all we will try to find for div so div is our html tag and inside that so we will use dot find if you want to find element which is within another element so in that case so first of all it was inside after div it was uh, anchor tag and inside that we have image html tag right and then we have a, our attribute as alt macbook so like we learned in last video if we have to find by html attribute we use square brackets so what i have written i have written my first html tag then the html tag which is inside that and then the html our attribute name and value right and now i will do dot click on this so let me comment this one and let's uh, read our test case and see right so let's run our test case so again we saw this is clicking on the macbook so we saw different ways if we have multiple scenarios in which we have hierarchy in that case also how we can find if we have a nested element which is uh, that means one element is within the other element in that case we can use dot find command right so next command is filter let's say you want to get a dom element which matches a specific selector so in that case we can use dot filter so for nested we we saw find one but for filter what we can do we can actually select for a particular tag right so let me show you an example for filter so let's go back to our test case right so i will just copy this one i will comment the last one so this image image alt macbook so i can write this inside my filter command also so you can use filter with find or you can use it directly with dot get also so both work both ways it will work fine so if we run this test case it should work so you saw again it is clicking on this it is actually trying to find anchor tag so on the main page we have 92 div tags inside which we have seven anchor tags and then we are trying to filter for the one particular html tag and the attribute which is alt macbook right so today we learned uh, various dom commands how we can click on the first element how we can click on the last element and how we can click on the some specific indexing also right if you want to want to click on a product which is at some specific uh, index so we use dot eq and then we provide the indexing index inside that we also learned about find if you have any element which is within some other uh, some other element so in that case we use find and we if you if you want to click on based on the text so in that case we use contains right so this is uh, in next video also we will be seeing other useful dom commands and then we'll see how assertions work in cypress because eventually you have to whenever you perform any action on the page so as a tester we have to verify something right we have to perform assertion so that is very important so these starting videos are just the basics one basics so when you learn the basic when you get to learn how you, you can find locator on the page how you can perform action and then in the end we have to do assertions right so stay tuned uh, i'll be uh, so i'll be uploading more videos on this So please like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video